I got laid off. I got fired. I got fired. But here's the thing. I was a binge guy. I remember seeing her at the local titty bar. I feel dirty right now just telling it into a microphone. We're broken around here. Working man sucks. Hey, everybody. Welcome back to the Working Class Holes podcast. I'm your host, Ed McGowan, here in the break room with my co-host, Josh Accardo. Edward. What's up, buddy? Today is a great day. Not only do we have an amazing guest, but she is female. <laughs> super funny at least we know uh, let me just give a couple little things because i want to you know i want to build it up a little bit sarah tolamash has been on the late show with stephen colbert she's been on the late late show with james corden she also performs regularly at the comedy cellar in new york city comedy club she has her own special out on youtube called voluptuous boy she has her own podcast called lady journey she's been on roast battle on comedy central she's been on gotham comedy live and now she's here with the working class holes Sarah, thank you. Guys, thanks for having me. Hey, yeah. Thanks for coming. I love a podcast that's one block away from my apartment. <laughs> I mean, if that was anything, I was like, how? I'm so glad we got her. When you agreed quickly, I'm like, oh, oh well, you she was like, a block what? away. You know, yeah, yeah, you were like, oh, yeah. And I sent the address. You were like, yes, I'll do it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> if I was thinking of Brooklyn, I'd be like, I don't know. No, I, I, okay, so we're both a story of people. Um, I, I don't want to go to Brooklyn. No, I even spots sometimes I'm like hard. Why after COVID you're like, why do I want to go an hour out of my way to do 10 minutes for six people or something? I'm okay. So COVID COVID was a whole new ball game with travel after that for me. I don't want to go anywhere anymore. No, I don't know if that's like I know it's a boring topic, but it's it's true. I don't want to go anywhere, even even for a spot. No, you don't even have to. You could just do jokes from your couch, which I think is actually more productive than oh, doing like on TikTok and stuff. Yeah. Oh, are you See, doing that? I, second person, Ed. Yeah. That yeah. That. Are you doing that? You just running jokes on TikTok? I run jokes. Yeah, I started it in COVID because there was nothing to do, and I just got on TikTok, and then I just started seeing like you just get more people than you would if you did a spot in the city. Like, who cares if you're killing it in the city? Yeah. <laughs> like, <laughs> I need to get my road gig. Yeah, up, man. like there's so many great comics, but their social media is so it? low that you're like, good luck. Yeah, no, that seriously. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Do you make a reel out of it when you do it on Instagram, or you just do it on TikTok and you do it for ten minutes and you just post it like that? Uh, I just do it? some quick jokes and then I I put it on TikTok and then. Uh, than on Instagram. But I guess now you put it on your camera so you don't get the watermark so you can oh, do it on both. Oh, yeah. nice. It's so, crazy. We duped you. This isn't really a yeah. podcast. <laughs> it's, it was just a social tutorial media. here. These cameras aren't even running. We're just like, get Sarah over here. She's doing so well on social media. Oh, my God. So was Colbert, I wish I was though, doing better. Was Colbert your first late night appearance in 2017? Yeah, Colbert was my first late night appearance, yes. And how, all right. I, I know you hate when I start out with career first, but it's just the natural way to go right here. Sure. Right? So when you get Colbert, how long? It's literally right before the pandemic. Uh, I guess it's three years. No, yes, yeah, no. three, three years. years. Matt, I met you right after you did. We were, you were still doing Bart. Like you were doing Scott. I met you at Scotty Lavelle's. Yes, uh, apartment uh, secret comedy shows kind of no and then that that awful one over in um on 14th on crystal uh crystal lake was that the one is that one of those stoner ones <laughs> i've just, i've just stopped doing pothead shows they're the dumbest audiences i've ever met they're so invested in sitting there, though. Yeah. yeah. They They're always like, show up to sit there. totally be there. Yeah, 100%. You can fill a room with them. Yeah. But they don't <laughs> laugh. No pops. No. no. It, it's almost, you're like, are you guys from another country? <laughs> There's like a huge disconnect happening here. I, it's uh, wild. I, I'm asking because I want to know how long before or after you get Colbert where you don't have to work a terrible job. Y'all, I called it, this is what I called it, it's the walk of shame, is when you do late night, and then the next day you have to go to your That's day job. <laughs> <laughs> it I, I wish matter. I could have that. That's a, you means you've done something great. Like yeah. also, it's like the Cinderella effect. Yeah. What was the day job at the time? Um, Colbert may have been... Dude, I don't even know. It may have been walking dogs or <laughs> I was bartending down the street. Oh, but then so Corden, good. I was... No, Colbert, I was a pro at property management. I was like an account manager for at a property management place. And then I got... And then I had to work there 
two more years <laughs> and then I got cordon and then I did quit after that but I shouldn't have you should have stayed in the game a little yeah, bit yeah because like even now I still have some side hustles yeah. just to make a little extra cash on the side how do you not how do people and that's I think Ed and I always I always argue on the show about this about how like how are people making it? And I realized, oh, everyone's everyone's like wealthy. Everyone yeah. comes from money. Oh, a lot oh, of people yeah, yeah. have. A lot of people have. Because I have like yeah. four. I have like four ways to make money right now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's people that you're like, okay, so you do the road once a month, <laughs> but you live in Manhattan, <laughs> and you have cashmere sweaters. Like that's the math is not adding up. Yeah, right. yeah, yeah, yeah. But you never know. So you do the show, and I mean. Colbert, out of all of them, that's like, well, Tonight Show, Colbert, they're like the same kind of heat. Not like, because remember, the Letterman was a thing to get. Well, I guess it was, but not anymore. Not anymore. And it doesn't I, work that way I anymore. I feel like I'll shoot myself in the foot with this, but like, book bookers think it's it's still like a cool thing, like for you personally, yeah. But career wise, it doesn't even move the needle because at I'm all. Losing. It's just like it's uh, unless you're. So lucky that the host, like Fallon and Nate um, Bergazzi, yeah, just loves you. But that's like I feel like such a small percentage sure. of that happening. And that's crazy to say because you know I, I love talking to comedians not only about the shit that they have to eat to get to the point where you think it's the dream. It's right? all failure. Yeah, it's yeah. It, there is no big win. No, it's all failure. You only get a. Uh, a Small amount of wins, and even those wins don't even after Equal the up next to the day. Sacrifice. But here's yeah, the thing, though. I'll little. say this though, because right before I got into comedy, I, I finally landed like a good job. Yeah, and I had like a good job, and I was like making like, I mean, I was broke my whole life, poor, and I was making like money. Yeah, yeah. And then, uh, but I was like fucking miserable. It was advertising, and it yeah. was like just soul sucking. Like yes. legit. Like they say that and it's like like cliche, but yeah. like I started hating myself from it. Like even when I hate unloading the truck and uh, you know carrying oh, a fucking PA the gear. Up, yeah. a, up a flight of stairs, or carrying a PA on a fucking riverboat. <laughs> yeah, right. Why am I on this riverboat one? Like this led me to yeah. this riverboat. Even yeah. like when we bomb, even it. like when I bomb. We did that one show, and I just we so we do this show. It's in Pittsburgh. Yeah, and uh, the host goes up. He does okay. I go up. I eat shit for 25 minutes yeah. and then in I pittsburgh bring, of course bring, who's killing it in pittsburgh <laughs> i bring josh up and the host goes yeah i do this show all the time it's awful and then as he's saying that just roars of laughter coming. yeah <laughs> josh is just <laughs> murdering and he goes he had to like raise his voice to talk louder to console me like yeah. no it's it's a hard room it's <laughs> it's it's tough here <laughs> so that, it's a it, lot of work the, uh, <laughs> you get the Cause that's the dream. It was the it was the oh get your Letterman. You know, I'm old, I guess. Yeah. So like, get your Letterman. Get your JFL. Maybe I guess development deals earlier than my time. But get some like someone talks to you. And get then a manager. You got a fucking road gigs and career. That's what they booked you off of. Is what was your late night credit? It, now I'm losing this dude. I'm lo I lost a gig to a dude doing I, like TikTok like a hundred hundred fifty thousand. It was not a great gig, but like. I lost to a guy because he of has course. all those impressions. And it's like, yeah. holy shit. But I, and I don't even have anything you have. You have two late nights. Well, yeah. And those don't even, those still don't, they don't fill in seat. Not like um, getting fans off of social media. Yeah. Like, like, isn't it wild that there's like famous people from Twitch that you've never that, heard? Yeah. And that guy managed to cause such chaos yeah. at Union Square by saying he's giving away free oh, like right. Xboxes. Yeah. yeah, right. I was like, who the fuck is this person? I, I, I'm but not then that they, old to, yeah. not, to be that, for someone to cause a scene, I'm 42. Yeah. But it, people 32 understand Twitch. Yeah. That's how the discrepancy is so vast when it comes to age and technology. The yeah. tech moving makes you obsolete faster. It makes the news cycle goes faster. It's just like I feel sometimes that I'm out of the fucking loop with a lot of it. Because tw Twitch, I've never even logged on to a Twitch. No, it's for generally gamers. A yeah, a, a Twitch. Twitch. I, <laughs> yeah. I wasn't sure it was wrong, but I said it. And I think Sarah's is out. It's sad feels wrong. Feels a little awkward. <laughs> you like guys Polly in your Walnuts. Twitch. Hey, I, mean, I don't even know these uh, yeah. Twitches. I'm a moron. I can't help it. I'm a moron. <laughs> 
<laughs> it's a video game thing. I know that, right? A lot of gamers do it, but I think a lot of people just go on there to do like their mini talk shows. Oh. Yeah. Like you guys could do a Twitch. <laughs> yeah. I tried doing a Twitch, but we weren't getting... Nobody was interested. How's your pod doing, by the way? Because I, I, the clips are hilarious. Oh, thank you. I, I feel like Lady we're Journey, doing everybody. better, but we, I'd like to do way better. Do you, yeah, yeah. Sure. yeah. I want it to be, I feel like that would be a career in comedy that's a lot easier to do than, uh, especially when I'm about to have a baby, Yeah. to do the road all the time. Yeah. Like, I can't, you can't do the road with, as like a mom. I could not go out, and I'm not the mom, but I'm Unless here. Unless I was making a shit ton of money that I could have, like, somebody yeah, come with like me to help. You have to have help. Yeah. Uh, we have no help. We're, no one we know lives near us that is, like, family or we yeah. trust enough to do that or would want to ask to do that. It's a big ask. It's a huge ask. Like, it's almost like moving. Yeah. It is. Well, you're being... <laughs> it's almost like moving? Almost. Yeah, almost. Worse. <laughs> well, you're telling somebody to be, like, you need a clone, like, somebody that has no soul... Do you know what I mean? Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. I, I need you to make your life part of mine. Sure, and right. Like a personal assistant. Like that job, is, it sucks. I mean, okay, so you were managing the property stuff, and then you, you're still, you still, you do the late show at Colbert, and then you have to go back to the property job. I, yeah, job. I went back to the property job. I, I just done Colbert, and then kind of just started the property job. Then I did, I think it was two years there, and then I got Corden. And then when once I got the news, I got court and I was like, I, f- I that job was fine, but I, it just was soul sucking. So nine, nine it to took five. away all my mental real estate mm-hmm. that I just didn't want to do it anymore. So being a, a property manager, it's a lot of like moving parts, right? Yeah. I, so I wasn't like a property manager. I did all the accounts for all the buildings. Oh. And I, I didn't know this. I was just thrown in there because I had done account stuff for restaurants and I do like doing finding discrepancies. Yeah. Like I'm actually pretty <laughs> good uh, at it. My wife's like that. Yeah. 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 Finding it, a problem. You're really good at that. Yeah. It's like forensic, <laughs> uh, like accounting yeah, forensics. Yeah. Oh, wow. That's pretty cool. But it's not as in depth, like FBI kind of stuff, but you like it's wild. Yeah, it's no I'll have your ass like, down to the it's nickel. Just a, it's just a couple of Excel spreadsheets. Right? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> well, like, it's so crazy. Like I learned this is like one thing that I learned while working there. Like rich people are do not know what's going on with their cash flow because they've always had people manage it. Yeah, and it's so much, and they don't deal with it. That like I would so one building usually buildings are like investments. So I had one building that didn't realize that their yearly water bill is paid through escrow. So they were paying it twice. And so I managed to find $50,000 for them. And I was like, I think it's so crazy that you guys didn't even know $50,000 is 50 K. Yeah. Oh, but it was stuff like that where you're like, you could just bill a property management place as a vendor. Uh huh. And there's, they get so many vendors through the day yeah, that most there's. Of the time they get through. They get through. Shit. Yeah. What was the office like? Were you? Did you work with like jerk? Were they like it was like a family situation or like were any of the guys okay. like sleazy or? No one was really. I had one boss. The one the hiring that I always had to uh, talk to. Like he was nice enough, but I don't. I feel like girls might get this, but there's a certain characteristic of a certain guy that you're like they're not doing anything wrong but i know there's a me too in them somewhere and i can't nail them for it I feel like there's a me too in you i get there's a vibe right that you get here. that makes your skin crawl no yeah i hear you um and like, he like was kind of like that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, but they get to the Me Too probably. Yeah. With uncles. They don't hold back the Me Too. So. But you, you see them. They're round and third by the time yeah. they take your hand. <laughs> you see them and you're like, oops. You go like the through the kitchen to get to your desk rather than like straightforward. And no you're one like, said in those areas. No one. I remember being a kid and my mom complaining about this on this other this. Hawaiians have a lot of uncles that yeah. are technically an uncle. Yeah. And this one guy in particular, 
he was always like holding his hand in, trying to cop a feel or like trying to kiss with his mouth open. Now would get you punched. Like no one would come to my house and do that to my wife. But in that era, they just complained about the guy. They didn't do anything. Yeah. It's so disgusting. So crazy. I felt he, Ugh. I think he married like a woman that he found in another country. Yeah. Do you know what oh, I mean? Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. I don't like want to say was Russian. Based off of power. Yeah, dynamics. dynamics. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then he had a daughter that I felt like he was just raising a little C word. Do you know what I mean? Like, yeah, yeah. you're like he would just be like princessy and spoil her. That Everything I was like he touched is just like the wrong. That's yeah, the wrong thing. very kind of lightly sexist. Like he, there is a he. They managed one of the buildings that a very well known comic lived in, mm -hmm. and he would just tell me personal details of their place, and I was like wild that this is none of my business yeah. and so Sucks unprofessional. So yeah. That it was just crazy. That kind of behavior. Yeah. yeah. But it was an open office floor plan, which I fucking hate. Uh, those are the worst. You can't do anything for and your it's comedy. small. Because I, I work in a lot of offices, and sometimes if I get, you know, an hour, I'm fucking going to do something for comedy. I mean, <laughs> I'm going to. If I've, yeah, you could. As long as I'm getting my shit done, don't yeah. worry about me. I'm alone in this little queue. Yes. Open floor plan. It, it makes people want to talk to you all the time. Yes. There's a lot of crosstalk. And I'm one of those people that if you're giving me directions while other people are talking, oh. I, there'd be times my boss would be giving me stuff and I'm like, I, none of that went into my head because nope. yep. there's so much stuff happening. And, and then there would always be, he'd have his dogs there. So there would always be just like just chaos. barking. <laughs> We're going to crack out to that big gallon. Dogs barking. <laughs> people dog yelling across at me. <laughs> It was cute, but you're just like, this is wild. It's, like, it's not like one of those. It's not Google. Like, yeah. I'm doing fucking math and shit. Like, yeah. Your head's in an Excel spreadsheet. It was. And then I, so I kind of worked under another guy who it, and this is funny. I don't know if you've worked in an office like this too. You get there and then you don't know what everybody kind of does. And then slowly you figure out. Oh, this guy's full of shit. <laughs> and it takes about two months. Oh, yeah. It's, yep. it's a 90-day effect, actually, <laughs> for me. Once I hit 90 days, that's when I started doing poorly at the job. Yeah. Like, I figured everything out already. Like, I know I don't have to, like, put on a show for. Yeah. You know, I and I ended up, like, in a year, I'm fired. Like, that yeah. was always my... Because you're right, the 90 day effect, you're like, oh, I know every asshole in here. Yeah. And who means anything? And none of you mean anything but like two people. And they would never fire him. You'd be like, wait, so why is his dentist appointment two hours long and he has to go upstate for him? Like, there's no dentist upstate. in New York. I gotta take the Excelsior yeah, to like, uh, DC. <laughs> was, I'm like, I call bullshit on this dentist appointment all the time. Then he also did this trick that I was so amazed by. So he would always or order takeout every day, but he would just have it on his desk for the full eight hours. So anytime you approached his desk, you didn't know when he got his lunch. So you always felt like you were interrupting lunch. his lunch break. Yo, yeah. <laughs> that is a move. Yeah. That is, a, that is that's fantastic. A pro move. Like as soon that as somebody comes up, legend. he grabs uh, the like, form. Yeah. Yeah, like, oh, yeah. Oh, hey, what's up? Yeah. And you're like, oh, I'll, I'll come back later. <laughs> yeah. and, and I would be like, that's been on his desk oh. for eight hours. <laughs> I've, I know people that do the breakfast move into the lunch move. Oh, yes. That is a Gee, I've, never, it's an I've never even move. thought of that. That is an And then amazing. it's a 3 p.m. smoke break. They're in an hour and a half, they're gone. Yeah. But they save the hour and a half for any like deliverables. Like yes. they'll do two things in that hour and a half where they won't get shit in the morning for it. Yeah. It's amazing. I felt like I slowly was like, I think I'm actually doing his full workload. And it took me a real real long time to figure out, you know, longer than it should have, that Oh, this guy mm -hmm. doesn't do anything in the office, and they never fired him. He and that was had dirt on somebody. Well, that was the thing. I think he was friends with the boss, and then I just figured uh, employers don't fire people, especially right. uh, unprofessional all, places. Oh, yeah, yeah. They, like the they, HR or something. They we didn't the, even have HR. Yeah, it yeah. was one dude, and he was also the worst guy ever. <laughs> like it was crazy that he was HR. <laughs> When you get the big career moment and you walk into that place, no, I mean, 
I remember I didn't even do anything near a TV spot, but I opened for this pretty big musical act, and I had to go back to my day job the next morning. And looking at a guy who had a way better you know situation financially than I did, his life looked fun. Some dickhead in the office, some yeah. guy in the office I'm looking at, and I just realized, like, I just did this thing. Right. And it means in the grand scheme of life, it means zero to anyone but me and did maybe they, four comics. Did they, they don't know? care. Did they know at all? Like when you went in, uh, you were like, I was just on TV last night. Did yeah, they they did the Colbert. Yeah. But then, you know, that all kind of like fades really fast. Oh. And then it's not like I was always pushing it. That was the other thing I realized, too, is like when I started working there, I got it through another comic. And then I already told them, I find that if you set your boundaries up first, oh, yeah. they and if you do a good job, like just show up and are pleasant, you can do what you want to do. That's the key to any they office would, job. That's yeah. what I learned. Set it up, set the expectations just right away. Immediately. And yeah. Be, and just and be assertive and, and good. Yeah. Because yeah. Like yeah. yeah, yeah. a lot of the stuff that I'm doing is like entry level stuff. Yeah. Where, you know, if. I were a normal, if you will, not a comedian, a normal. I would do that job and move up. Yeah. Right. That wouldn't be the job I would stay in. Right. But if that's the job I'm staying in solely because I'm pursuing this other thing, why not do that really well? Because it doesn't take a lot of brain power. No. Because they don't fuck with you. They love it. Well, that's a thing. The You're not a threat to anyone else who's trying to get promoted. You do your job and you realize the bare minimum has actually been set really low, so low. in the office. Yeah. But it would cause issues with some of the other employees because I, as soon as I would put my road dates on the calendar, I would hear this other girl just slam her book down. <laughs> <laughs> because she it was always an issue for her to get her stuff done but i was like i know i'm sorry it sucks but i this is what i told them in the very beginning and they know what they were getting yeah. like that's this is your problem not my problem yeah that is i love it's crazy because we work for companies that aren't that dysfunctional that oh. would be insane. Someone would get fired for that. They would be called in somewhere. Like, yeah. Fucking God. <laughs> oh. I, there were so many. I'll tune again. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> she can't drive out in the and morning? The, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Should I even go anywhere fun? It's like, God, gigs you want to do? This is fucking lady. <laughs> no, I know. You're, it would. Well, partly you're like, I know why you're throwing your books down. Like, you don't know <laughs> why I'm not upset passive, about this. Professional passive aggression in oh. the office. They're pros at it. She was another one. Like, she did the the signing. So anytime somebody bought a co-op, it would be, like, lawyers involved. And, like, she would set up all the paperwork. She never had any paperwork on her desk. And then... When she left, the new lady that took over, she was just swamped that you were like, what did the previous girl do that she never had anything on her desk? <laughs> like the other lady was just like drowning in paperwork. <laughs> but the the first girl, she was like her behavior was also wild. Like there's another girl they hired to be like an as administrative assistant and she was hot. And like Russian. Oh, wow. And just hot and kind of lightly stupid. But I liked her. But she, anytime she'd ask a question, the other girl would give the response that didn't make sense to me because it would be so mean. Yeah. Be like, I don't know. <laughs> why are you asking me? Like, she, I would be like, I don't, wh why don't you just respond like, oh, I think. Um, hey, Joseph might know. Like really you should ask. Do it yeah, yeah. yeah. Shit <laughs> to another human. Like, how do you like live with? That? Like I know people. Like, how do you live with all that inside you all day? Yeah. I just love. I love when there's somebody that miserable at work. Like it always makes me happy. Like I get such a such joy from just seeing somebody just that miserable. When especially yeah. when they snap at me and I'm like. <laughs> Well, I, I What's think wrong it, with you? I think you have no, What's the problem? Yeah. No, who cares about this job? <laughs> yeah. Who cares? Well, but we're in an advantage, I think, because we come in. It's like office space. Yeah. We're in the like, I don't give a shit about this place. I come in and I leave and they like me because yeah. of that. Yeah. And you're getting like praised and these people have to do this for the rest of their life mm -hmm. and they don't get the advantage. I just feel like we're in a better 
mindset. I think that should be our mindset even when we're pursuing this industry. Because <laughs> I feel like I wouldn't get my feelings hurt so much if I felt m a little bit more like this. Yeah. Like I do when I'm in an office. Yeah, right. Yeah. It's not personal at the end of the day. I just yeah. happen to take the work too personal. Yeah, I've talked to my therapist about this. And it, it's kind of like that um, self-improvement book, The Art of Not Giving a Fuck. Yeah, I've heard of that. I've told him, I was like, I don't know what it is, but in the office environment or my day job environment, I've always thrived and rise at the ranks. Like to the point that my family is surprised. Yeah. And I even am like, this is wild. Like, I feel like I can just like take over the Chechnyan mafia, you know, like, in <laughs> like I have the ability, yeah. the history of violence. Yeah. That's, that's how I feel like I can just do that because I'm, I'm in the mindset of like, I have nothing to lose here. You're so moldable. Yeah. You're just like, I will eat, you know, shit. Cause it ain't shit to me. I yeah. could care less. I, it's I'm the, in about and I'm your out. Ego. It is yeah. the most zen. Uh, like, it really thing. is. It really is so zen when you can catch that. Yeah, but it, something is like I don't even care. Yeah. Like sometimes I'm like, uh, even with comedy, I'm like, ah, fuck, who cares? You know, fuck. Yeah. Yeah. I, and I go up and I have the best. Always. Set. I thrive in an open mic setting, but when you're like <laughs> blah 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 from blah blah blahs in the audience, you're like, well, there goes my set yeah. because yeah, no, I don't want to think of any of that. So yeah, it's not fun. I wanted to go in with low pressure and not just have a good time, but now I'm like, oh, I have to hit my mark. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah it's like yeah. being micromanaged. It it's really is. Uh, so when you do Corden and then you go, fuck, I'm done with working these jobs, and. You know, you're going through life stages. I'm um, father, and I've always had four or five hustles. Some yeah. Of the, most of them branch from comedy with certain corporate things. But yeah. But overall, it's like this does this on during this season. And this, you know, it's a lot of piecing together. Yeah. Uh, did you find that hard, especially as your life started to get like more adulty? Um. Well, you definitely are. I have been fortunate because as soon as I kind of quit, it was bad because uh, COVID kind of happened mm -hmm. shortly after. So I almost went back. But then <laughs> unemployment happened. Oh, oh my God. God. Yeah. And yeah. then I was livid because I was like, wait, I'm making more on unemployment than I did at that property management. That's and crazy. I, that was crazy. After they made knowing, people not want to work with yeah. that shit. They yeah. Really well, I was, after that, I was like, I was thinking about going back to work for them, but then I was like, fuck you guys for, I'm making more doing unemployment. Meaning like I would, I would have worked for them, but they paid me so little. That's crazy. Yeah. But I don't know because I didn't go to college. So my self-worth was always small. Yeah. Because yeah. you're thinking, I don't have a degree. I can't move up in the yeah, corporate structure anyway. So. Yeah. So what's the point? So yeah, I never true. ask for stuff like that. When did you move to New York? Uh, I moved here in 08. Okay. And then like what kind of work were you doing when you moved to New York? I did service industry for the longest time, like bartending. Oh, okay. And so that was quite lucrative, but it takes up, it was taking three nights. 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 Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's yeah. Nights. yeah. I did restaurant. I was a restaurant. And then that restaurant lifestyle like gets tiring. <laughs> were you doing like a lot of drugs? No, for sure. <laughs> I got sober in 09 oh, okay. and I still bartended several years after and it never affected me, but I never did drugs while working like i stayed away from that when you uh, uh when you when, when you're sober and you're doing the bartending gig is it more annoying than ever because everyone's drunk well i got to work in a hotel bar oh uh, uh, that's right. nice and yeah that's it, it the hours were better like i'd go in at four and we would close at midnight i think and i would get home at a reasonable hour yeah. so it wasn't crazy and nobody got like really out of hand there Drinks are too expensive, and if you're staying there, they kick you. Yeah, out. the it's clientele like, too is much great. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, so it was pretty Did you cool. You have to wear like a uh, like a formal outfit. No, nah, just black. Just black. Yeah. Oh, so That's not like what good. you had to wear at. Uh, I, I worked at no. Oh, TGIFs. <laughs> yeah, but I worked at a. Um, <laughs> I worked at a colonial restaurant. Yeah. <laughs> in, in historic Philadelphia section where I had to wear like the knickers and like the, uh, yes. the blousy shirt and a little like vest. Yeah. Ugh, so demeaning. <laughs> I took my wife there one time. I was like, she goes, you used to walk around like this? I was like, I used to go partying in these clothes. Yeah. <laughs> I would do blow in these clothes. <laughs> be in an after hours bar with these I just clothes. love how you could take your wife on a tour of your loserdom. Like, this is a job I had before I met you. 
Uh, oh, she couldn't wait. Yeah. She's like, we're going to Philly. I got to go. We got to go see that restaurant. I was like, all right, fine. Your Chinese restaurant where you're peeling onions at eight years old. Yeah. This is where they put me in the Chinese yeah. restaurant. <laughs> I've had some crazy jobs. <laughs> of course. Yeah. I mean, that's all you do when you're in this industry, I think. Why? The Why are we doing it? It's solely for the 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 stage part. For me, anyways, I don't have I don't like any of the other stuff I have to do. I don't like social media. Yeah. This is fun. But yeah, but it I'm with you. Like, we don't make money from our podcast. We make enough money to pay another guy to help us. Yeah. Ooh, hey, yeah. Helper. Yeah, that's helper. I can't wait for a helper. Yeah. That's good. Um, but yeah, I, I don't I don't know if I answered your first question about like when now that as an adult, like how do you make it work? Yeah, because I get I got lucky. I can get um benefits through one of my jobs yeah and i'm married to someone that has a straight job Same, like joe does really well that um we've been living off that but i do um i don't like doing this but i because of how we ended up i've become really good at figuring out social media and i know how to do editing on software oh that's awesome. so i do social media management for a few comics and that helps oh. keep me afloat with the spot pay yeah, that's and you're all. It's also a branch off of what you're already, of what we got into it for. Technically, yes. I mean, I got into it to tour and and, and act, and that's great. That's what I would wanted to do for money. Yeah. But that's technically you finding a way to make money. Yeah. Off and of I, what we do, you know, and that's awesome. And that was originally what my degree was was multimedia and web design. So I learned how to do like video editing and audio recording mm-hmm. and editing. That I just felt. I just feel really comfortable around like editing software and computer stuff and comics a lot of comics don't even know how to copy and paste what i mean have you ever i've had my (laughs) podcast partner didn't even know how to find a file on her computer (laughs) she didn't know the search bar (laughs) like if she if i sent her a file through an email attachment and it downloaded she's like where is it So good. Does that infuriate? Like, it's infuriate, hilarious. Infuriate you guys because you're both good at like. Uh, I know. I don't. I'm I just... get short fuse because it's like I learned through. I only know this because I Google shit. Well, yeah, because yeah. you're not yeah, yeah, yeah. making the effort to learn. That's Wait, the he, that's the thing. Yeah. Here's like, my big here's my big pet peeve though is like when you're helping somebody with a computer thing and then you hear them just like clicking. Yeah, I'm like hey, stop fucking. Click. Just wait. <laughs> I have to screenshot. Just, 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 circle. Wait, just wait. I'm gonna tell you what to press. And you, I'm like, are you clicking? What are you doing right now? I'm like, I don't know. Something came up. I'm like, yeah, you gotta read it. We gotta make a choice here. Yeah. Yeah. You can't just uh, wildly be clicking on stuff. Uh, stop. Yeah, it's, it drives me nuts. But that's the thing is like, I'm so like. old in this oh, show. Dude. It, <laughs> but it's, it's. But you're right. It's so aggravating. Well, I, I have no I, problem helping somebody that like, I, look, I could show you real quick. I'm very fast. Like, you know, I'm a video yeah. editor. I've been editing videos for like 20 years. Yeah. And like, I can do, you're like I have. dragging, right? No, no, no. So I'm, we I'm, t- I'm totally joking. Just we're, keep we're going. Tech nerd, we're nerding out here. Yeah. I'm just trying to nerd out a little bit. <laughs> Um, but I'll, I'll totally help somebody like I'll give you some stuff but like if it gets like you start interrupting and going hey but what about listen I'm gonna do we're gonna do it yeah we're gonna get through it real fast I just this is what I'm gonna help you on this is <laughs> but a lot you're like you can, I learned it all like whatever I don't know now I just go to YouTube oh. and there's somebody and they're Usually easy instructions yes yeah. <laughs> that you're just like so why am I doing what you could do for yourself sure. and you'll get a new skill set. But then again, that's another thing that like I've also had to learn through therapy to accept that like, that's just some not people's ever. thing. Well, and it makes sense why people, a lot of them are losers. But yeah. You know, it's not a, people <laughs> some think of them are doing <laughs> way better than I am. Well, I meant more like <laughs> at life, you yeah, know, yeah, at life yeah. itself, you know, it's not like a, people think it's like a magic pill you take. And you get wins. It's not. It's like, oh, I have the desire to learn how to do this myself as opposed to yeah. waiting on someone I know. Like I had a I, I this guy knows how to fix cars. Well, if you can't fix my car, then I'm not going to take It's just you rely on the stupidest shit. Yeah. But here's the thing. I oh, don't yeah, yeah. think I have that skill. That skill that I have, I don't think that translates globally to my life. Of course. You know what I mean? Like, I'm good with like, yeah, hey, you need a, you need some computer help. Oh, you have like, I, I just, but like when you're talking about the car, yeah. I was ready. I, we had an issue with the car. <laughs> this is a car again. And this guy didn't, uh, it was somebody's, this mechanic's fault. I was ready to burn 
<laughs> yeah. this place down. Like I was Googling, I was reaching out to some criminals that I know, like, hey, what can we do here? Like, he's like, don't talk over the phone. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, we met in person. I mean, yeah, it was it's, like. You're not going to get the full story, but yeah. it, the context kind of matches up with his aggravation, just so you know. Yeah. It wasn't like he's going to burn of down because they n- nicked his car. They fucked him over. Oh, whatever. no, no, it was bad. It, yeah, was, it was a bad, bad thing. But at the same time, I don't, you're talking about how to solve things. Like, I don't, I don't always know how to do the right thing. Yeah, you know what yeah, I mean? I yeah. agree. Like, uh, you give me instructions for other things and I'm like, I don't want to read this. <laughs> I, I will totally. figure out how to put this furniture piece together myself. Yeah, I can't do any of that either. No. Yeah, I'm done. There's yeah. something that like, it's yeah. like when you pet a cat the opposite way. Like, you're just like, <laughs> it's yucky. I don't want to read the small print and follow instructions. <laughs> but I, if somebody shows me, or if it's like a bullet point, I can do it. Like, yeah. step one this i'm Step a little two. dyslexic and also like you a lot of details get ju- mixed up but also i don't want to read them if you bullet yeah. point it i could probably better shot yeah sometimes i'll you know like a comic will send me instructions for their social media and it'll just be like <laughs> one long <laughs> run on diagram. sentence <laughs> so i have to like take sentences out and put it onto a checklist yeah with, yeah yeah with the they mean like, okay, that's a command sentence. Put that over there. <laughs> command sentence. Yeah, because I'm like. You really I, are a decoder. <laughs> I can't read one long paragraph with no breaks in it with information. That's an insane thing to send somebody. It is. <laughs> <laughs> I, I need it's no a answer stream of consciousness <laughs> of instruction. Not one period except for the very end. Yeah. <laughs> Like anytime I see one long period, like <laughs> sentence, I'm like this. Oh my uh, god! The Dunk Ulysses shit. of uh, social yes. media. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> James Joyce. So uh, you're a special voluptuous boy. What? What made you say okay, YouTube or try to sell it? Now I think most people go to YouTube because if you can get the views you need and the uh, the clicks you want and whatever all that, you can get paid through the ads. Like, what's the What's yeah. the message behind that? What are you like, okay, it's going to be YouTube instead of something else? Well, I think with a lot of people, there's only a small percentage that get to sell their special to. Yeah. And it's usually because they have a huge social media number. Mm-hmm. Um, for the rest of us, it's like, my for Voluptuous Boy, Like I had already been working on my YouTube I title, channel. So oh, funny. thanks. Yeah. I just use words in my set that sound like an album (laughs) and so that worked out the best but like I I I was building my YouTube channel for a while now and I like doing sketches and I was at the subscribership to monetize but I didn't have the hours viewed yet yeah I think we're in a similar spot yeah Hmm. so you need to put longer content for that and so I did the album but somebody was there with a camera that with 4k and I realized that it was pretty decent, even though it was one camera. So I had a friend edit it. And then I was like, you know what? I'll just put it on as my special and 800 pound. Let me put it on oh, my wow. own YouTube channel. And then um, so I set it up that way. And then it pushed me over to hours viewed so then I can monetize. But I it was very like eye opening and it felt I, I really enjoyed the whole process. And then realized that you don't need to put that much money into a special to get a yeah, decent amount of views. The question, you know, I was right. getting to is that now you don't need crane shots. Do yeah. Yeah. You can do one, uh, two or three cameras, small saying, space. Are you saying you were planning on just doing an album and then somebody had a camera and you were like, let's let's shoot it as well? Yeah. Somebody so had, had a camera. Had so you were mic'd for an album, though. I was mic'd for an album. Oh, great. And then I, that's the big thing, right? Like, you yeah. Get the yeah. Like the audio is good. Yeah. yeah. Because from a camera, the camera audio is always Ugh, yeah. Yeah. brutal. Yeah, it's yeah. awful. Um, but I think nowadays, some for a lot of people, it's like you can monetize. You're not going to make as much money as say, I mean, I'd have to look at uh, like the people that are hitting the million to mm-hmm. 10 million mark, how much they're making from YouTube monetization. But I don't know if it's as good as a Netflix deal. Yeah. Um, but long run, it helps with your ticket sales. Yeah. And I think that happens with even musical artists that they don't make a lot of money through album. It's through um, appearances. Yeah, it's always the gig that pays more than the... Yeah. uh, Yeah. You know, you're not really seeing much off of that. No, because all the record labels screw you over. Yeah. And And I also think record labels even take a huge chunk of your 
money from comedy albums. Yeah, did so you because Voluptuous Boy came out a little while ago, right? And I just saw it. Did it get like re released with 800 pound or something? Yeah, like that? so they, I was like, um, I, I told them, I was like, okay, I think Voluptuous Boy has plateaued, meaning like, I don't think I'm gonna get any views. But the interesting thing was like, maybe about four or five months ago, I got a spike of 30,000 views out of nowhere nice. two years later, and I did get like a chunk of change from that. Um, so I was kind of surprised. You're like, I must have hit an algorithm on YouTube uh, cool. or a, there's a Reddit thread that somebody mm -hmm. promoted uh, and I had uh, no idea, yeah. but, um, that Reddit shit, man. I know Damn, it's crazy. Great. Um, but so I was like, they had reached out and they were like, we can put it on ours. And I was like, that's great. And I don't expect any money. And then that way I can maybe get a broader audience because they have more subscribers yeah, right. on theirs. Yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah that's because yeah, yeah. it popped in my feed just the other day. I was like, yeah. oh, cool. So I know yeah. people thought it was new and they wanted me to make a big put, like a push of like, I can't. I just pushed this three years yeah. ago. It's embarrassing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll do a throwback Thursday to yeah, it, that but makes, yeah, that's a compromise. Yeah. I'm not gonna <laughs> hit the podcast it for it. Yeah, it's yeah, em yeah, yeah. embarrassing. Um, but yeah, I think the whole reason why to do it now is like you never know if you hit heat from it, and then you get more f like fans because they can share it, and people really like free content. Yeah, yeah. I have to say the other thing too, like with, I, like I've kind, I've finally come around, like to like just, you know what, fuck it, just put it out there, just, just put it out there, stop being so precious with everything. You know, yeah. and like I'm, yeah. I, you know what, it's, it's making me write more. Like I'm, yeah, coming, you know what I mean. I'm just like fuck it, just put it out. Why am I? I keep saving all these. There's not, fuck it, it doesn't. No, not, look at all like the trash. There's trash comics that <laughs> I don't respect. Um, Comedically, but respect business wise. Yeah, yeah. That I'm like, they're doing, they should, they should be like, they're, uh, like I'm inspired. I Meaning, like, okay, if they're doing that, then I should be doing that yes. because yeah, they're yeah. they're just throwing shit to the wall, mm -hmm. and then it's just a numbers game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Damn. So now, are you done with the work? Are you done with like side, like uh, like have you have any uh jobs uh I have you considered anything like picking anything up like how are you doing with health insurance um J joe helps with that oh good awesome. but i find yeah. health insurance i fucking hate it's a if, nightmare. Uh, it's if a i nightmare. if i could bring it down I would, it's, but um, there's no way you no, can bring no, it, it down. It's bigger than the U.S. It's government. It you is. Could take that, you could sedition. We, <laughs> you it's could, extortion. You could, yeah, it really they is. storm Capitol Hill, and you yeah. can't even yeah. move uh, insurance uh, a, 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 an inch. That's why those guys like storming the Capitol Hill. I'm like, you're storming the wrong place. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Like those people can't do shit. <clears throat> no, like you, you got to hit the CEOs the lobbyist, of these company. It like it really is becoming like a. Marie Antoinette situation yeah. where I do legitimately believe um, these insurance companies are fucking ripping us off oh my God. horrifically. I, I have insurance and the amount I have to meet sometimes with insurance to get like, oh, this is going to oh. be another 60 bucks and this is another 100 bucks. It's just like, what the fuck well, here's is going the on, man? They didn't always have co-insurance. Like, we used to get insurance... You would pay part into your out of your paycheck, and then you would have like a deductible. Right? Yeah. But now they also then they I don't know if it was like fifteen years ago or what they started introducing coinsurance where they're like we yes you have a copay you have a deduct deductible and we're only going to do eighty <laughs> percent. I mean, I'm just getting over cancer and You're these like, bills are insane fuck? that I'm getting. Yeah, I'm yeah just, like, just don't yeah. pay them, dude. I'm I'm. I yeah. can't yet. There's no way yeah, don't, with don't, you know no, I got my a, kid and everything else. There's just no way. I got a CAT scan because I didn't know what was. I thought it was. Um, I just had some surgery, like a hysteroscopy. I never know how to mm. say it, but it turned out it was sciatic nerve. Oh, man. but I had no idea. I thought I was just dealing with like blood poisoning or something. I got a, a CAT scan, not a CAT or MRI. MRI. Yeah. Those they send me great. the bill. <laughs> Ten thousand dollars. Insurance doesn't cover, and then you're just like insurance doesn't cover an MRI. Not for me because the insurance I have is Oscar Health, which is only New York. So this is in, was in Seattle. I had to get this done, Jeez. and I That's was like, God, "Do you guys think people have ten thousand dollars?" Joke, right? 
Like, what are we supposed to do oh, here? What? That's insane. <laughs> it's almost like they make numbers up. And they didn't even, there's no results. They, I left the hospital with like, yeah, we don't know what's actually going on because nothing showed up. And because it was sciatic nerve, it was it wouldn't show up that way. Oh my God. I just deduced it from Google that I had, I just went to like, uh, like a back person and it was that it was like oh so, so i just back channeled and uh, did your own i did work? my own doctor work a chiropractor on astoria <laughs> boulevard was like nah, i got you yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey fuck those mris <laughs> it's great well then the next thing they they're like go to physical therapy i went to a physical therapist place in astoria wild like first of all the door was like a hundred pounds that i had to like push <laughs> to get there the deeper you go into like astoria you get those places that have been around since the 80s you're like oh yeah it was like a play den for adults and then like this the physical therapist was like in a long t-shirt with crocs on just looking at her phone the whole time that i i was like oh all these exercises are actually on youtube yeah so i still Stopped going. Yeah, yeah, that's what I did when yeah. I had to do physical therapy. Yeah. I just watched the little link on YouTube and yeah. Yeah, and I'm fine with that taking their business of like if this is how you guys are treating this medical facility no. and clients here. Oh. Yeah, they're I could do worst. my own thing. The I know physical therapists in those places much. they're the worst. I because I had to think for my shoulder. The guy would show up f- like 30 minutes. I'm sitting out there for 30 minutes. He shows up. He's like, "Yeah, do this," and I'm like, "All right." What? They're resistant like, These bands. Are curls. <laughs> <laughs> Need he goes before. out <laughs> and then he comes in and you're like are you done yet <laughs> that place was also i found it because of my i was like let me go through my insurance yeah. they said to go there i go there they're like this location it was a chain they're like this location isn't on the insurance you got to go all the way to like elmhurst oh. or something <laughs> i was like why is that that's why I hate our yeah, well, insurance situation. They make it seem like can we streamline this process yeah. a little better. For oh us? my god, it's I a mean, fucking I probably mess. wouldn't be that mad with the price if you could just streamline my experience. If it was a good product, <laughs> yeah, you know, right. yeah, yeah, yeah. Give me a if good it was product. a good product, yeah. I always put money into this fucking nonsense. Yeah. I spend more time on the phone with it's insurance fucking, companies than I do. Yeah. It's all juice money for Crazy. the skim. And also, I'm not a big fan of it being tied to your work. I'm the same me way. either. Because same it, way. it holds people Power. into like a, a, job. a yeah, slave yeah. situation exactly. of like, I can't leave this horrific thing because of my insurance. Yep. Yeah. yeah. I mean, honestly, you know, well, this is the last thing I'll say about it before we have our do our plugs. But I think with you, if I didn't have to work, I would have stayed home. I, I, I would love to stay home. And raise the kid. Yeah, I yeah, love yeah. It. I would love yeah. it. I do honestly, look forward to that. It costs more money in childcare than a lot of people make per year, anyway. Oh, yeah. I think so, what is yeah. it, twelve hundred dollars a month? I mean, I yeah, basically. Yeah. I mean, I'll tell you what we're paying off air for five days a week, but it ain't cheap. I know, and then you're like, I guess they do have to go because it's like socializing with. Gotta go. Their, we're kind of pack animals. Yeah, yeah. Uh, they, right. Yeah, there's yeah, so yeah. much yeah. you don't. Yeah. You need. I didn't know any of this until I had him. But there's so much they need to get going before you put them in that. Yeah. K stuff. So it's like, then the, then you start getting a little break from the money, but still you're paying more for insurance, like all that shit. It all. I don't understand, like why? So why is like kindergarten? All that's free from the government, but they can't do three more years of preschool yeah, I don't know. or something There's, like well, that before. Because in the suburbs, they don't need it. Like, like you we have do Mother's Day out and stuff like well, that. Well, you have family around, but if you grew up around your family, a lot of times I think. Yeah, they end up they're doing just the, they're just hanging just out people. with cousins and all that shit. Yeah. When you're in the city, though, yeah, you, you moved away from it. You don't have any of that. Fuck. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sarah, please plug where you're at so our people can go find your greatness. Sure, I'm on. Uh, I think I'm on every platform. At Stolomash, S T O L L E M A C H E, and then just subscribe to my YouTube channel. I'm g- taping a special at Grove 34, October 11th. Oh, cool. I heard Ooh. that space is cool. Yeah, it's fun. Yeah. Um, and then hopefully it'll be out in the new year. So I just want tons of people to watch it so I can make passive income. You can follow me at Josh Ricardo and go to joshricardo.com. You can follow me at edmcgowan.com and edmcgowancomedy on Instagram. We also have an email address. If you got problems at work, email us. We'll Please tell do. you how bad it sucks for you <laughs> and uh, not solve it. It's uh, workingclasscomedians at Gmail. Uh, we'll be back uh, next week. We'll see you guys then. 
Oh, one last thing, guys. Yo, uh, big announcement. We've joined a brand new podcast network called Connected Podcasts. And I know you thought the working class holes were just about being disgruntled. We're not. We have a mission, making you laugh. Their mission, helping us drive this network to the top and be number one. Dude, we're, I know. We're so psyched. And you got to be sure to check out some of the other great shows because they have some truly great ones. And when I say truly, one of them's called Truly Darkly Creepily and the other one's called One Broke Actress. Just some of my favorites. Check it out. We'll see you guys again soon. 